Hi, my name is Alexey Rizanov. I am still 29 years old and I'm a professional ballroom dancer. And right now, I'm about to share with you a secret pill how to become a successful ballroom dancer in 2018. Do you have to be that close? A magic pill which will make you successful ballroom dancer. Alexei, are you serious? Give me a break. There is no such a thing as a magic pill. And you guys know it. The only reason I did it is to bring your attention. And now, when your attention is fully with me, I'm going to share with you a couple ideas which will definitely going to make you more productive, more effective and even more successful ballroom dancer in the new year. But for that, I might need a couple props and I just have to go back to the desk. So I will see you there. Woo! What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ballroom with Alexei. Today is our first episode in 2018 and I'm super excited about this one because as you probably already figured out, we're going to talk about how to become a successful ballroom dancer in 2018 by Alexei Rizanov. So first might sound a little bit cliche, but believe me, it is crucial. Accept yourself. This is big. This is huge. This is very important. This is your starting point. This is your point A. You have to understand where you are at, what is your current level, and you have to accept your all negative and your all positive points. Without accepting is going to be way harder to get somewhere. So, number one, accept yourself. Number two, find your, oopsie, oh my gosh, it's not writing anymore. Find, find your vision. If accepting yourself is point A, then finding your vision is the point B. This is where you wanna get. This is what motivates and inspires you. This is what excites you. This is the main reason you are taking dance lesson. Ask yourself this question. Why do I dance? What is it which inspires me and what makes me come to the dance lesson every time even when I'm frustrated or excited or uh, all of that. Okay, so find your vision. If you haven't find it yet, I highly, highly recommend you to find this vision. So number two, Find the vision, vision, vision. So now what you want to do is to find yourself a notebook. It can be like this or like this or this one or this one. It doesn't really matter which notebook we're going to find, yellow, but you have to open and write your vision on the first page. Try to make your vision maximum three sentences. The shorter it is, the better. You can start with larger, but make it shorter, shorter, shorter. So at the end, it's very simple, very understandable and very clear. And put it on the front page of your ballroom dance notebook. Everyone has their own vision. Some people do it for health. Some people do it for excitement. Some people do it as a therapy. Find your own huge big reason and write it down all right let's keep going so now on the second page you want to make a list of goals goals is obviously very important we have to know where we're going we have to know what do we want to get so write down improving goals if you want to improve your rumble walk if you want to improve your kukaracha action if you want to work on your hip action if you want to improve your balance your turns posture maybe you want to improve your frame communication connection maybe you want to improve all of that so write all of those things 
down. You want to make it as a goal to be more out of your comfort zone in 2018. Maybe you want to do the spotlight. Maybe you want to do a team match. Maybe you haven't competed yet and you want to compete. So write all of these events down. By the way, with all of these goals which you write down, you actually want to go and you want to show that to your teacher. Or you can actually create the goal list with your teacher because sometimes teacher has a teacher have uh, have has teacher has because your teacher or your instructor has his own opinion his has his own specific very unique goals which you of course want to write down and of course you want to really work on okay so you already accept it yourself you have your vision you have your vision written down in your notebook you have your goals you share your goals with your instructor and your instructor gave you a new goals you all talked about it you haven't you have a clear idea how many competition you want to do spotlights la, 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 la. so now the last thing in our list is to make it a proper mindset so there is so many interesting things about mindset. Of course, it is important to stay positive. It is important to think good about yourself while you're learning something new. But I have one little small insight for you, and it is have an amateur's mindset. Actually, it doesn't matter if you are a professional or amateur dancer. Having an amateur mindset is an incredible idea, which I want you to try to apply in your ballroom dance journey in 2018. So amateurs don't care if they're doing something right or they're doing something wrong. They are enjoying their journey. They are staying curious. They are experimenting. They are trying to discover something new in their field, what they're doing. And what is the most important part I don't know if I said it already. They don't afraid of failures because everything they do is an experiment and experiment have a right to succeed or to fail. So think about it, try to apply it. And I hope that that little philosophy, that little idea is going to make your ballroom dance journey in 2018 more fun, more exciting, more pleasurable, all right? Whew, I think we're done. I think we're done for today. All right, so these are my five recommendations for you. These are five things which will definitely make your ballroom dancing in 2018 more productive, more effective, and a lot more successful. Yay! So with all of that said, ladies and gentlemen, I want to wish you a happy new year, a Merry Christmas, and I hope that this new year is going to make all of your dreams come true. Have fun dancing, enjoy your journey, and of course, subscribe to my channel. Channel, <laughs> subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment below on what what do you think about this video. Uh, press like, and I will see you really soon with my new dance tutorial okay bye bye happy new year happy new year happy new year la la la, la.